Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here with me today. We are going to be looking at Urgent Messages Spirit Wants You to Know. So anything that the universe wants to forewarn you about, let you know what's going on, um, it's almost like a message or a glimpse into what's happening or what is about to happen here for you. So we'll see what cards come up here. Now, this reading is for any sign watching. So basically, if you've got a situation here, it doesn't matter what sign you are and you want to know what the universe wants to warn you about, then this message is going to be here for you. So anything that comes up, it's an intuitive reading. Anything that comes up, um, consider it uh, a message from spirit. So let's have a look uh, and see what you need to know right now as things are. Okay, straight off the bat, some of you are in a situation that's going to require you to fight for something here later down the track. Now, it might not be in the immediate future. It may come months or years from now, but there's something to do with a current situation that you find yourself in that you will have to fight for or fight against um, in the future here. I almost want to say that peace is a possibility if you can find peace before coming to a point where it's all bearing too much. So I feel like truth and honesty is going to bring peace rather than battle um, and this complication which I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like for some of you watching straight, straight up, straight up we've got the, the Temperance which is Sagittarius energy and I feel like this is telling me you need to be direct with a person or a situation or it could complicate matters to a point where you find yourself fighting for your place, fighting for your self-worth or fighting for a relationship. So this is quite an uh, internal um, situation. So I feel like I'm getting internal dialogue. So this is what you're telling yourself here. Um, there's an honesty. You need to be honest in a situation either with yourself or with someone that you're dealing with. And this honesty will bring peace and clarity rather than complications and uncertainty further on because I feel like the Ace of Swords is telling me there may be a fight or something that you'll have to fight for. So I feel like um, for some of you, there's a message of you'll have to fight for a cause or for a person or for a relationship if you're not honest about these things now. So you need to be, you need to lay everything out there on the table here. Otherwise, it could come back and bite you in the bum here a little bit. So that's very important to be truthful um, to be truthful and honest and don't sway your words or twist your words because the Queen of Swords is here. So I feel like there is a message or a warning for some of you not to twist your words, okay? To say what you mean and say what you feel. Do not disguise what you're feeling or what you're thinking for anything else. Don't try to mask it. Don't try to disguise it because I feel like that's going to create... Um, a complicated situation to do with communication. Um, and I feel like it might have uh, the impact, the experience might be now, but the impact that it'll have won't come until much, much later. So it's it'll be amazing what people remember and how much they remember. <clears throat> Let's see what else, what else is coming up. Okay, there's unfinished business in a situation here. Things that are destined for you will come to you, especially around partnerships, collaborations, or romances. Um, the High Priestess is here, so I'm getting a seed has been planted. So you may be not be so much seeing things in the physical, but things are happening much more behind the scenes because the High Priestess is here. Follow your intuition about a situation because your intuition is giving you answers. Intuition has come up twice here. And I feel like this is significant. It's the sign of cancer that has come up. So it's a cancer presence here. For some of you, the past, there's unfinished business with a past person or a past experience or a past endeavor. Could be work. It could be relationship. 
um, or it could be a child. Like some of you might be out there thinking, I've had a missed opportunity. Am I going to have more children? Will I ever have children? There's a message here that this remains open. The universe wants you to know that this opportunity remains open as things stand right now. Some of you, there's unfinished business towards a divine masculine and divine feminine connection, and it may be with someone younger. I get a youthful energy from this. I also get some of you have been praying for a particular experience or person or situation to come into your life. And your prayer is about to be heard here because the high priestess almost grants us what we wish for. And we've got this prayer, this this thought. It's a very specific thought or image that you have in your mind. And it could very likely be written in the stars here for you. There's also a very... um. There's a message here that there's a very intense emotional situation for some of you out there and a lot of you are feeling hopeless um, and some of you sort of you want to give up on this person or give up on this situation or give up on this dream. The universe doesn't want you to do that because there's more. Like I said, the, plant, the, the seed has been planted. You might not be seeing tangible results just yet, but that doesn't mean the universe is rearranging its, is not rearranging itself to make it happen for you. So there's a wonderful message of follow your dreams and don't give up on the things that you feel are destined for you because there is something that's written in the stars here that the universe wants you to pursue and to follow. Um, absolutely. There's also a message of coming into fame or stardom for some of you. There's a message of you might be sort of there's something that you enjoy doing. It may be a hobby or it may be something that you just do on the side. Maybe something that you do that doesn't earn you very um, much money now. But there could be a complete change in financial situation because of that. I feel like it is connected to the dream or connected to a goal that you have here. Um, and I feel like there is someone that you may be approached by that's going to put you on your path. It could be a mentor, it could be a friend, it might even be a stranger, someone that you sort of cross paths with very briefly. But the message and the encounter that you have with this person, with this energy, is going to change your life profoundly. So that's that's a big thing here. Let's see what else comes up. Okay, we've got Capricorn situation, devil or Capricorn situation here. Okay, this next one's for those that are dealing with a particular person where things have been very toxic, very unhealthy. Some of you are still chained to a person or a connection or an addiction, and it's something that's not healthy for you. An ending is in sight in terms of recovery or rehabilitation or moving away from this cycle in your life. Uh, and I feel like you will have the strength to get over this breakup or get over this addiction or walk away from some sort of situation that's been hurtful towards you. But be careful about the intentions of other people with the five of wands because people will be in your ear about it. And people don't always have the best agendas for us. So it's important you listen to your intuition here because there is a presence and or an energy that wants to control you. Um, and in controlling you, that energy, that party, that person gets the satisfaction. Um, for some of you, you are protecting this energy. So you're being either in denial about it or you're protecting it. Could be a bad person and you're, you know, you've got people in your ear telling you different things. I mean... You have to use your intuition and your better judgment to judge the situation that you find yourself in and the person that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel what I'm seeing here is this person will show their true colors and it could even be multiple people around you at the same time. But some of you, there's an energy that you know this is bad for you. You know this won't last or you know there's no future or you know this isn't good for you short term or long term but yet you still partake in this and really you're losing time or you're losing love or you're losing yourself in this venture so be careful because life is short it's fleeting and you don't want to spend your time and your energy on the wrong people or the wrong things 
I get a message of needing to break free. And this is going to be possibly one of the hardest things you've ever had to do in your life. But it has to be done for a reason. To either love yourself or give yourself the healthiest opportunity, the healthiest life, the healthiest relationship. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, Pisces energy here. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. Okay, some of you are in a situation where you need help. It's like you are waiting for someone to love you back as deeply as you love them. You're waiting to be acknowledged and be appraised for something that you have done or you've worked towards or you've built up by yourself. But it's almost like you're waiting for an exterior power for that validation when it really lies within. Um, it could be for a creative pursuit, like a job thing, or uh, it could be a relationship here too. Um, but I'm getting with the Five of Pentacles. You're needing things from other people that are already within you that you can sort of give um, and receive for yourself. But you're looking exterior. You're looking to the exterior. And some of you are engaging activities, naughty, naughty, in things that aren't conducive to your life okay they're destructive with the tower card but you give you do them because they give you some fleeting form of self-satisfaction but then you come back to that five of pentacles again um and i think it's a void i'm getting it's a void something that you need to fill in your life and whatever that void is so say for example you really need the self-love and you're looking for other people to give you to validate your worthiness and your self-love but really, it's you that can do that validating, but you're feeling an internal void with external influences that are unhealthy. And it brings you back to that five of pentacles and you come back to a message of neglect. There is a message here. Some of you have been neglecting a person or a relationship or a friendship, and it's someone who cares about you very deeply. You've either looked the other way, you've done them dirty, you've cheated, you've been dishonest, you've done some towel moments to this person. They are open to hearing your forgiveness. So if you want to come back to them and apologize or just talk things out or show them that you still care, the message here for you would be is to show love, to show compassion and express forgiveness and peace. That will bring you internal love and internal peace as well. I'm going to leave it there, everyone. So I feel like it's an auspicious reading, especially for a day like today. So I do hope this has been helpful. Please remember this can be for any sign watching from Aries through to Pisces. And if you have enjoyed this reading, leave behind a like. Hopefully there were some messages here that uh, the universe wanted you to hear and that will be helpful for you. So uh, thank you again, everyone, so much for tuning in. And I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So um, Thanks again, everyone, and hopefully we'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.